yes, yes, yes. Our further example, ballerinas who are dancing, and if you see, each ballerina has their own program and code which controls their dance and their moves. If, if you look into our program, you see there are two different ballerinas, and the main ballerina is on the stage. And she has her own code which convinces her to say things and join the others. Why the two choreographers dance? The, the ballerina has her own code. This is for the main ballerina, and the second ballerina has her own code, and the last one has her own code. So each of them perform different action. And later, we run everything so they can do the different. If you play it, you understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying now. As you can see, the middle one has her own code, which makes her to say things and stand still while the remaining two are dancing. <laughs> if I have to play that thing from the beginning, Each has their own code. Summarize for ten seconds. The name of the uh, we named our project the Dancing Ballerinas, and we most of give us the motivation that if, if in our three team there were, were only three girls, and we, in our team the leader is a girl. So that was so. If you look, this code is for the ballerina on the right, and this code. Is for the ballerina on the left, and the code only allows them to dance. But the ballerina on the stage has this code, which you can see is different from the others because she stands and she say, she introduces their things as we did in the beginning. She introduces them and tells us what they're about to do. She tells us that they're ballerinas. She she introduces them and at last she says, enjoy the show, and then she joins her group member in the choreography. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. The second one, oh, her code, you say when click, she she waits yeah. and then she dances. It. And as you can see, she, this is for the one on the left. Yeah. And for, uh, she, the one on the left has this code. 